Uh, Mr. Tulsi, and I also wanted to look at it as an RIL investor point of view. Legacy Reliance were largely a B2B business. But now with the coming of Rel Geo, uh, Reliance is connecting with the vast mass of consumers in a telecommunication way as well. So do you think now Reliance just needs to be retail? It will uh, help every one of its other businesses as well. See, Lata, I won't be surprised even if the, the fuel stations are used as a as a, as an outlet yes. for the Reliance retail as well. That olden time has gone. In fact, in India, we have started seeing some kind of book book bookstores or maybe you know small kind yes. of shops and maybe the uh, that uh, uh, cold drinks outlets or beverages outlets and all kind of things. But it will be a composite thing. Mm. Uh, even if we, if if it happens, it will not be pure a simple fuel station, station because that will be along with the Reliance retail and mm. and. and, and and if you really see uh, the participation or the uh, BP joining hands together, mm. I'm, I'm, uh, I won't be taking it very positive unless until they come along with the re refinery. Because if you see the three segments, mm. telecom, they have grown very well. Uh, they have created a huge investment. Petrochemical, mm. it's a continuous feature. Every six months, you see the capacity, some kind of polymers, you know, getting added into yes. the capacity. The Re refinery has been mm. stagnant. We have not seen mm. the new refinery having come in or new, no capacity having added in this last 10 or 12 years so probably the time has come for adding the capacity also in refinery mm -hmm. and along with expand into the expand into the retail uh, uh, coupled with the increase in the in the, in the, in the, in the uh, refining capacity and expand the reliance retail network at each of the fuel stations of okay. of the of this joint venture. so what were you guessing would be the kind of capex they will look at in refining no, see, I, that's what I've said. If you take the marketing, pure marketing, even if you take a 5,000 uh, uh, fuel stations, I don't think that the capex will be more than $2 billion. And the, I don't think that for $2 billion, Reliance will be joining hands with BP or BP will be interested in coming into India with an investment of $2 billion. Mm. So that has to be with the refinery of maybe $30 million and all sort of things, mm. for which the investments may be about 8 to $10 billion or maybe 10 to $12 billion. Mm. And it all depends on that because you can't have all the fuel stations over by you because ultimately eventually there will be franchisee kind of things you know the arrangements and all that so investments magnitude has to be of 15 billion dollar anywhere between 12 to 15 billion dollar and if you just go for the retail with 5000 uh, with 5000 fuel stations mm. uh, investments won't be more than 2 billion dollar which is not uh, compatible for both of the both of the joint venture partner even both of them can go independently along with because they don't need any kind of uh, financial or, or strategic strength from each other so uh, mr